So welcome to the video. Today we are going to take a look at how to do a man Whitney U test on version 31 of SPSS. So for this example, we are imagining that we are interested in how satisfied clients felt after receiving one of two types of psychological therapy. So in column A, we have a number one to represent people who received cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT and we have a two to represent people who received psychodynamic therapy. And in column B, we have their satisfaction ratings. So higher scores in this column represent high levels of satisfaction. So let's take a look at how to put these data into SPSS. So we'll go down to variable view and then we'll give a name to our independent variable. So we can call this something like therapy underscore type and I'll use an underscore there because we can't use a space. And then we'll give a name to our dependent variable. So this can be something like satisfaction. Then we can use this values column to specify what the levels of the independent variable are. So if we click on this therapy type row and on this box here, and then on this plus button, we can enter a one here. And let's say that one equals CBT. And then we'll click this plus button again and we'll say a two equals PT, so I'm just going to put PT there for psychodynamic therapy. Then we'll go to OK. Then we'll use this measures column to indicate that therapy type is a nominal variable, which is sometimes referred to as a categorical variable. And we'll use the same column to indicate that satisfaction is an ordinal variable. Then we'll go down to data view, and we can see that the names of those two variables have appeared at the top of these two columns. So we can go back to this Excel spreadsheet, and I'll select the top left piece of data. And then while holding shift, I'll click on the bottom right piece of data. Then I'll go to command or control C to copy those data. And then I'll go back to SPSS and to the top left cell. And then I'll click command or control V to paste those data in. Sometimes that doesn't work, in which case you can just go to edit and then down to paste and that should do the trick. And we can see here that we have CBT and PT in this column, whereas we had ones and twos in the equivalent column in the Excel spreadsheet. And that's of course because we allocated these descriptions to the numbers one and two, but also because in the view menu we have value label selected. If you unselect that, you just get the numbers instead. I tend to keep it selected. So once we have the data in, we're ready to run the analysis. So we can go up to analyze and then down to non-parametric tests, then over to legacy dialogues then over to two independent samples. We can see that we already have man Whitney U selected here, so we can transfer our independent variable to the grouping variable box and our dependent variable to the test variable list box. Then we can click on the independent variable and then on define groups. And because we used one and two to refer to the two types of therapy, we're just gonna enter a one here and a two here. Then we'll go to continue and then to OK. And that runs the man Whitney U test for us, but I'm just gonna show you how to generate medians as well. So we'll go up to analyze and then down to compare means and proportions, then over to means, then we'll transfer the IV to the independent list and the DV to the dependent list. Then we'll go to options and we'll transfer a median over here using this arrow. And we'll remove these statistics by using this arrow as well. And then we'll go to continue and then to OK. And we can see that we now have medians in this report table. So we can see that we had a median of six for CBT and a median of four for psychodynamic therapy. So it looks like satisfaction ratings tended to be higher for CBT compared to PT. But we don't yet know based on this table whether that difference was statistically significant. So to determine this, we have to look at this test statistics table and at this A simp sig two tailed row. And we can see here that we have a value below 0 0.001. And as this is below 0 0.05, it indicates that there's a significant difference between those two conditions with respect to satisfaction. So that's essentially how we run and interpret the man Whitney U test. But let's now take a look at how to report those results. So I have an example here and I've said that a man with the U test revealed that satisfaction scores were significantly higher in the cognitive behavioral therapy condition than in the psychodynamic therapy condition. And I've inserted medians and N numbers whenever referring to a specific condition. So the median for CBT was six and the N number was 10. And as we saw before, we got that median from this report table and from the CBT row where we have a median of six and the N number comes from this ranks table and from the CBT row where we have this value of 10 here. So that's just the number of participants within that condition. 
And then I've just reported the same statistics for the psychodynamic therapy condition. Next, I've reported a U number of three, and that's coming from this test statistics table and from this man, Winnie Euro, where we have a value of three. I've also reported a Z value of negative 3.63, that's coming from the same table and from the Z row where we have this number here, which I've just rounded to two decimal places. And we have the P value of less than 0.001. And as we saw before, that comes from this A simp sig two tailed row. Lastly, I've reported this R value of 0.81. So the R value is an effect size statistic and SPSS doesn't actually provide us with this. And so if we want to report it, we have to calculate it ourselves. And to calculate it, we take the Z value uh, while removing any minus symbol that might be in front of it. And we divide that by the square root of the total number of observations. So in this case, we had 10 people in one condition, 10 people in the other condition. So we had 20 observations in total. And so if we take these numbers, we can put them into Google. So here's the Z value, and we're dividing that by the square root of 20. And Google has told me that that is 0.81, rounded to two decimal places. And that's the value that I've reported here. And I've described that value as large, and that's based on these criteria that Cohen put forward in 1988. He said that our values above 0.1 can be described as small, those above 0.3 can be described as moderate, and those above 0.5 can be described as large. And as 0.81 is bigger than 0.5, I've described that effect size at large. So that's about it for the man when you test on version 31 of SPSS. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.